Not a week goes by, I don't see another woman under 40. No family history, didn't do anything to give themselves risks walks in and their life has changed forever. And to really move the needle, we need to take some bold new approaches to um, trying to understand disease processes, diagnose them earlier, and really take some brand new approaches to treating them. And I think not enough emphasis has been placed on the field of nanomedicine, and not enough people have paid attention to its real potential. Cancer, heart disease, neurological disorders, Nanotechnology and nanomedicine hold the promise of new breakthroughs in the diagnosis and treatment of some of the world's most devastating diseases. Nanotechnology is about manipulating and controlling materials at the nanoscale, meaning at the level of the individual atom. I'll give you a simple example how small atoms are. If you take a size of an apple and you compare that to Earth, that's the same ratio as an atom to an apple, just to give you how small these things are. Nanomedicine is how we take these very small structures and we apply them to either cure or detect diseases. So it could be a little bead which we put drugs inside and inject into the body, and that bead will protect the drug from being attacked by your body. It can also make very, very small channels on silicon chips and we can sort blood cells out on a little silicon chip. We can put a whole lab and put it on a chip. Two leaders in medicine and science, Cleveland Clinic and the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, are joining forces in creating the Virtual Center for Transformative Nanomedicine, with the goal of harnessing the power of nanoscience to revolutionize healthcare. Here you have two entities, world leaders in their particular area, the Hebrew University in the area of nanomedicine, nanodrug delivery, and the Cleveland Clinic, one of the premier medical centers in the world, are joining forces to synergistically try to combat some of the problems that have eluded us. And what I saw there was a very engaged group of people who were working in world-class facilities, facilities for nanotechnology, particle characterization, pharmacology, or world-class and beyond compare. Hebrew University is well recognized in the world and one of the institutions that put in the market more than seven drugs. Out of the seven drugs, two were really nanomedicine. Cleveland Clinic is just amazing in, in their capabilities of translating things. And I see this as a perfect fit for taking things that are preclinical and helping them reach the clinic. A partnership that will advance innovations from the lab to the patient's bedside in a way that has never been done before. If we can identify the cohort of patients using sensors and uh, saliva tests or urine tests that put people at elevated risk, then we can begin to look much more closely at them. But to make all that happen, we need new sensors, new devices, new ways to identify markers and then intervene to make their lives better. From new drug systems to new ways to screen for disease, the possibilities in nanomedicine in this new collaboration are endless. Our Hebrew University scientists are blazing new trials in nanomedicine, and our friends at Cleveland Clinic share the spirit of innovation. Our historical partnership will help to heal the world and enhance patient care in visionary and effective ways. This is a global partnership that has the potential to impact patients around the world. We have the ability to change how to deliver healthcare for future generations, and we hope you'll join us. The thing that excites me the most, I think, is the opportunities. We're on the ground floor here. We're one of the the first centers like this to really have this program going. Collaboration today is required because the challenges that we face are huge. The challenges that we face require uh, different disciplines, not only in a single institute, but often between different institutes. And that's why we're so happy to partner with the Cleveland Clinic. I think the promise for this is uh, once we get it right, we can really change things forever. 